Greetings from the Good Shepherd Church. My name is Terry Furlow. I'm the host for well Wellness Wednesday for the five Wednesdays in March 2021. Wellness Wednesday is a program where we spend 30 minutes every Wednesday with a video discussing various topics on maintaining better health through simple activities in your life. This March, the theme is good balance to maintain good health. We've learned to maintain balance in many aspects of our lives to keep our lives healthier and more functional. Today, the topic is maintaining well-balanced physical fitness and developing a well-balanced exercise program to keep your physical fitness over the years. Remember that these talks are for educational purposes and for spiritual development. They're designed for just the average person. If you feel that any of these activities are too much for you, don't do them. You may consider seeing a personal physician and getting advice to develop a self-improvement program. But most of you should be able to do these activities fairly easily and gradually develop an increased ability, increased strength and endurance over time by being very regular with the exercise program every week. To start off with, developing an exercise program requires commitment. You've got to recognize that it is a high priority in your life. You've got to schedule it into your week. It doesn't take much time. We're talking about maybe an hour a day at most. Less than 10% of your average daytime hours to maintain your physical body. You can work it into your normal schedule in the morning, the afternoon. You can adapt it to a change in schedule week by week. You always want to do exercises that are sustainable and easy that put you at little risk for injury. And once you get going after week by week, you'll note that you become more capable and more able to do things and to keep up with activities that may have been slipping in the past. Let's talk now about the seven major benefits of a routine exercise program. We've talked about some of these already in recent weeks. With a good exercise program, we can maintain back better balance and prevent falls in life. Falls that happen to young people because they get too much in a hurry and don't stay mindful and thoughtful with what they're doing. And a later in life, when physical capabilities are slipping, maintaining physical fitness can prevent falls later in life, which half of which happen at home. Routine physical fitness exercising maintains better cardiovascular health. We've talked recently about aerobic activity and strength training activities, really training the cardiovascular system and preventing a great deal of cardiovascular disease. Regular exercise programs also helps with emotional balance and emotional health. 30 to 60 minutes of aerobic activity, nothing terribly exhausting, really helps to work off a lot of the anxiety, a lot of the stress and, and tension in your body. Regular physical fitness, particularly aerobic activity, maintains a healthier mind in general. The only thing ever that's been shown that you can proactively do to keep your mind healthier late in life is just to walk regularly. Huge population studies, particularly in women, show the women who walk regularly later in life have much better cognitive abilities over the years. And then there are three functional parts of a routine exercise program. One is just keeping up with your activities of daily living, being able to rise to the occasion when you have to work a little harder than usual because of some type of emergency or some type of special task. You'll have the fitness to do it. You also maintain better independence. The more you stay capable at 60, 70, 80 years old, the more you're able to live independently and do things on your own as most people enjoy. 
The seventh and last benefit though, is your ability to participate with other people, to go out with family, to do things with other people, and really to be able to help other people. Keep yourself physically fit so that you can carry out your Christian missions of helping others. There are certainly times of injury and illness that can cause handicaps in any one of us, but we can also bring ourselves back and rehabilitate to the highest level to find our personal enjoyment and our personal accomplishments for ourselves and for others. So let's talk about what is a balanced exercise program. We've already mentioned many of these, but let's go through them one at a time. There are five components to a well-balanced exercise program. The first is aerobic activity. Just do your activity for 30 minutes, maybe 60 minutes, get your heart rate up to 100, don't get it over 120, just feel a little bit winded. That trains the cardiovascular system, it helps you burn oxygen, burn off calories. It also stimulates a lot of good metabolic activity in your brain. The second is muscle strengthening activities. We can use hand weights and other types of exercise to really keep our muscles toned, keep them stronger. We're not looking for building the body too much, but just keeping our muscles healthy so they're more injury proof. And we've discussed before that with what is poorly understood, but has been fairly clearly shown that people who keep muscle activities going tend to train their cardiovascular system to stay healthier. The third component we've mentioned is maintaining flexibility. We can call these range of motion exercises. They keep our joints moving well. We particularly focus on the shoulders, being able to rise up, out to the side, keeping our back flexible, being able to bend down and do things, keeping the ankles flexible. You really may want to do these for five minutes each morning, seven days a week, just to get yourself going. You'll move better and safer by warming up first. And you'll often get a lot of those achy muscles out so your muscles feel better for the rest of the day. The fifth component involves coordination exercises, working with eye-hand coordination particularly. And that's just have a simple little sport or thing that you do once a week or maybe three times a week. You can do ping pong, badminton, tennis. You can dribble a basketball, play catch with somebody. You can go play putt-putt golf. There are so many things you can do that take just a few minutes and really are enjoyable to keep your eye-hand coordination tuned up. There is a truth that old saying, use it or lose it. Over the years, when you stop doing things for 10 years, no matter how old you are, that skill becomes lost and suppressed. So we really wanna keep it up. Let's next talk about more specific examples about each of these five components of a physical fitness program. Let's talk about common types of aerobic ex exercise. By far, the best single aerobic exercise for most people is walking. Because of constraints of doing this talk, we'll just start walking in place. Just get your knees up and set a good rhythm. You can walk around the block and spin walking buddy if you can, put in your 30 minutes, 60 minutes, whatever you like to do and whatever you're capable of doing. And keep going until you start feeling winded. At the end of it, you can take your pulse and see if you're really getting up to maybe 100 beats per minute. A great way to keep your exercise program going is to play some music. Some music you enjoy that's inspiring, that keeps the rhythm going, and you'll find that that will make the exercise program much more sustainable. It's great to have an alternate aerobic activity to do as well, or maybe two alternates. Great alternates are stationary cycling, using an elliptical glider, 
using a rowing machine or just getting in the pool and swimming. It's good to have an alternative because if you strain an ankle or hurt a foot, you'll be able to keep going on a regular basis because you have something else to do. Ideally schedule that 30 minutes routinely three to six days a week. A real busy schedule, you might go an hour, three days a week to get it in because you have to have that time of aerobic activity in those three hours a week minimum. The second exercise component we talk about is muscle strengthening. We've also talked about the simplest, most straightforward way to keep an exercise program going at home is using hand weights. Keep your hand weights available, just one pound or two pound weights. Don't go over five pound weights, even if you feel strong. If you go too high with even 10 pound weights, injuring a joint, injuring your shoulders, just not worth the risk. I'm working with two pound weights and to work on muscle strengthening activities, we'll start off just doing our curls, building our biceps muscles, Never do any weight you can't do 20 times easily. You can easily work up to 30, 40, or 50 times to really get those muscles a workout. We're talking, again, 20, 30 minutes, three days a week. Do military presses where we push up. This uses other groups of shoulder muscles, so we keep those shoulders strong. You can lay down on your back and push straight out. This is a bench press. This works other chest muscles and shoulder muscles. So you have well-balanced shoulder strength. For the abdominal wall, the best exercise throughout life are what we often call crunches. Those are isometric exercises of the stomach. You can lay down on your mat, maybe try to barely lift your head and feet off the ground, tighten up your stomach, Hold it to a count of 10, count of 20, count of 30, and then perhaps repeat that two or three times during your cycle. Lay down on your stomach, put your arms out forward, stretch your legs, and then try to lift your feet and hands off the ground so your stomach's down, you're tightening your back muscles. Hold that for a count of 10, count of 20, and a count of 30, and then repeat it again. So we work the shoulder muscles well, the abdominal muscles well, the back muscles well. And then we can bring a chair to work our thigh muscles and calf muscles. These are a combination of repetition exercises and isometrics. We're gonna squat halfway down, hold it to a count of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and back up. And we're going to repeat it again and count to 10. And we're going to go through that same exercise 10 times. The thigh muscles, your, pel your pelvic support will greatly strengthen. The last exercise working your calves is to go up on the balls of your feet, and lift your heels off the ground, hold this to a count of 10. Back down, back up for a count of 10, and back down. We've done focused repetition muscle exercises, some isometric exercises. Our core muscles, our shoulders and arms and legs are all stronger. And we've really toned and tuned up our cardiovascular system at the same time. The third group of exercises are the flexibilities. These are the easiest, once again, ideally when you first get out of bed in the morning, go through it two, three, up to five minutes. Work on stretching your arms straight up. Repeat it 10 times. Get one arm to go around in a circle. 10 times forward, 10 times backward. And repeat the other side. You really find your shoulder will limble up. Try a toe touch, you're really not gonna 
many people, most people don't touch their toes, but they reach down, bend over, count to five, and then go down another inch and count to five again. You'll find that the muscles in the back of your legs and your back stretch out and become more limber. You can also work on extending your toes and flexing your toes to keep your ankles strong and moving. The fourth category of exercises are the balance exercises. Truly, as we grow up through childhood, adolescence, we practice and assume the balance all the time. It becomes more challenging though, as you get to 40, 60, 70 years old. And that's focusing on those four balance skills. Do things concentrating on your vision, your body movement for safe, for safe with your inner ear, that's proprioception. Sense the sensation in your feet as you're shifting your weight from one foot to the other. And then sense your posture. Practice tightening up your back muscles, keeping your shoulders up as you go. A simple balance exercise is just to take a few steps in a straight line. And then turn around and go back. Think about each of these sensory skills that helps you keep your balance. You might try putting your arms out to your side and walk straight. You'll find your balance is much better because you're using your arms as a means of keeping your body from shifting too quickly and adjusting the weight. Another balance skill is to just walk sideways, right foot out, left foot in, right foot out, left foot in. Follow your vision, follow your motion, feel your feet in the activity, go in both directions. Concentrating on those skills of focusing your eyes forward, using your eyes for balance, your inner ear for balance, your foot perception, and your muscle strength will build those balance skills. That just takes a few minutes. The last exercise we've talked about are the sports exercise, hand coordination. I've got a few things here we can work with. You can go out to your driveway and just spend a few minutes dribbling the ball basketball with your right hand, dribbling with your left hand, back and forth hand by hand. But we've talked about the variety of other things, putt putt golf, table tennis, badminton, just playing catch with someone. These kind of skills for eye hand coordination, if you keep them up, really kind of keep your skills much more fine-tuned all throughout life. Everybody has their own capacity to do things. If you think that you're basically average or middle or normal, that's great. These skills should be easy. If they're a struggle, you really may need to develop a rehabilitation program to build up your skills. You should try to schedule in that 30 to 60 minutes six days a week. You don't have to exercise all 60 minutes, but you have the time set aside so that you can get your exercise program done even if you have interruptions. The key scheduling item is the aerobics because you have to make sure that you have an opportunity to do your walking, whether particularly outside. A lot of people go to shopping malls to walk where it's safe and lighted but you might need to schedule on your swimming or your rowing machine. The aerobic activity clearly is the primary exercise that we really have to keep going consistently through the week. Upper body strengthening 20 to 30 minutes, three days a week. You can do that easily at home. If you like to go to a gymnasium, you can do the circuit training machines. 
You can do elastic bands for some exercises if you like to have the adjustable workload. The flexibility exercises, some people find are very unnecessary, particularly for young adults who are very flexible naturally. But you find again at 40 to 60 to 80 years old, they become much more important to get your muscles moving for the day, to work out the tightness, work out the achiness, and actually get your muscles working just to maintain good balance. The balance exercises themselves are just five minutes, three days a week. And remember, you're concentrating on using your vision, your inner ear, the sensation in your feet, and your muscle posture to help protect you and keep you in good balance. And then at least once a week, find something to do with eye-hand coordination, whether it's dribbling a basketball, whether it's playing catch with someone, so many people just give up on those type of activities at 60 or 70 years old, and then they become really less capable to truly enjoy life fully. I've enjoyed talking with you these five weeks in March for our Lenten discipline of getting good balance in our lives to maintain good health. We've talked about a variety of subjects and getting vaccinations and keeping a healthy heart, keeping a healthy diet, and now keeping a healthy physical fitness program. If you haven't worked these in your life as a priority, start doing it. We all do better if we spend specific time reading and studying and sometimes praying for guidance to really make ourselves better people and better able to carry our missions. In a few days, we'll be celebrating Easter. Easter is a great day of renewal, a great day of celebration. Bring forward all these things we've talked about for improving our personal health, our personal fitness, and our ability to carry out our missions for Jesus Christ. Have a good day and keep up the good work.